I think this is Teb, based on the Mario selection. Yeah. We'll see once the full overlay for the game comes up, but I hope we were correct with the read. Yeah, no, nah, I'd be impressed. That was a <laughs> good call out. Oh, Prodigy. Prodigy. Okay. okay. Not quite, not quite. I have heard We were speed. at least correct on the character. Right? Yeah, yeah. it was going to be a Mario, so the shower read then. All right, Captain Zach. Whoa, just throwing a heel slide in the other direction. But this is not a button check. Okay, for a second, I was a little unsure. Because I saw hits exchanged and I saw that heel slide, but could just be a simple input error. And even top players like this are fallible. Now, of course, Bayonetta uh, dealing with a lot of different changes to make her a significantly different character from the previous game. A lot harder uh, and a lot less oppressive compared to Smash 4. She definitely saw key changes to a lot of her strong moves. Great flood. He has the air dodge back. No, after one kicks instead. Such an even exchange here between Prodigy and Captain Zack. Prodigy, a name that could apply to both of these guys. Of course, Captain Zack coming out, debuting at age 14, I believe, taking home some serious placements back in the uh, central south of the United States, in Louisiana and Texas. The Prodigy, NorCal guy as well. Looks pretty young, so I, I definitely like to see plays like that, man. Yeah. The new blood showing up big. Got the Great. first stock gone. Oh, <laughs> and an immediate response. Immediately answered back by Captain Zack with that forward smash. So the, one of the key things in this matchup is the difference in frame data versus these two characters. Mario, as a result, even though he can force his way in and try to press a load of buttons, he can kind of work his way around Bayonetta's offense, uh, the various attacks that she tries to throw out, and then punish accordingly. Great punish with that into the forward smash. Angled down to hit the very thin body of Bayonetta as she lay or lays on the ground. Not sure if he had to do that, but good safety bet right there. Smash 4, of course, that got her out of a lot of footstool combos. Yes. But a huge damage coming out from Captain Zack. Doesn't get the second Witch Twist, unfortunately. Even still, I don't think that would have resulted in a stock loss for Prodigy. Bayo able to tack the damage on for sure, but closing it out is tough for her now. Has to do it the hard way once she's built the damage using yeah. her ladder combos. Really, really tough. They really kind of, they, they nerfed the knockback of moves like forward air, like neutral air and up air really, really severely in this game, so they don't kill until incredibly late percent. Side beat of air, still able to get these three four-piece combos, even at the very high percents. Captain Zack just recovering horizontally, vertically, horizontally, vertically, and then dying vertically to an up smash yet again from Prodigy. Now, can he answer that stock immediately back like he did previously? He's going to need to take that stock quickly. Forward throw, is that enough? No, not yet, just a little bit off. A little bit weaker in this game, I believe. Could be wrong on that, but... Either the way. lack of rage on Captain Zack part also playing That's a big it. factor. Yes. You see Prodigy on the edge, but just going to jump right into that back air. Of course, the way Bayonetta angles her leg when she kicks is great for anti-airing, or air-to-airing, rather. Ooh, catching him with the heel slide. No, not quite. Prodigy barely damaged on this final stock. Yes, going to parry the third hit of the forward air. I love seeing that. Players adapting to the new engine, taking advantage of the new tools available to them. Captain Zack using the old tools he always had to get so much damage on the board here. 60, 70, Oh, and he gets the fair at the top, and there it is. Excellent stuff to Captain Zack. That was ridiculous. Who said this character was dead? And that's a, that's a funny thing, actually. Um, he has to go for fair in that situation because up air actually would not have killed there. Yes. They, they made that hit at a very kind of horizontal angle, and the knockback isn't particularly high, so... Fair is often the go-to move for Bayonetta to kill off the top in this game. Yeah, when you're already up there and you just need a slight nudge to reach the ceiling, forward air is the play. Of course, I think the change to up air was made with the intention of not allowing Bayonetta to turn those combos into KOs, but of course the Bayonetta players will always find a way to adapt. Prodigy yes. gonna drop the first game after such a great start. Here we go, Yoshi Story gonna be the pick for game two. Maybe Prodigy looking to get some ladders of his own going with the tri -fly layout here, but that also increases the potency of Captain Zack's combos. Yeah, we didn't really see too much in the way of laddering from uh, Prodigy in the previous game, but that up air is so, so good. It just leads into multiple more. A good DI coming out from Prodigy, not getting caught by those follow-ups. Here we go, the up airs, but doesn't get the forward air dunk. 
There we go, forward air again, and yes, just enough knockback to push him off the top of the stage. Captain Zach caught taunting though. Oh, oh, oh. he barely gets out of that second up air, which certainly would have led to a super jump punch for the kill. Good DI away coming out from Captain Zach. Even while he's dancing, he's still a little bit aware. Mario about to get murdered on his wedding day, perhaps yet again? No, okay, that time goes for the up air. Knows that he probably wouldn't have been able to close the door on that stock with fair. Just not enough knockback, not enough percent. It does kill quite early even still. Mm -hmm. Just have to be high enough. Uh-oh, this could be it. Forward air, yes, there, there we, we go. go. Captain Zach showing you how it's done. This is basically a <laughs> Smash Ultimate Bayonetta combo tutorial. Immediately punishing that taunt with the up smash is Prodigy. And throwing his own taunt back as well. Both players in good spirits. <laughs> and these witch twists, that move may have been slightly nerfed, but it's still really dangerous. And it feels like Smash GI is just not quite as effective as it was in the previous game either. So once she gets you in the combo, you can take a lot of damage. And like Captain Zack is showing, you could even die. Right, good stuff. Jumping between and below the platforms is Prodigy just to avoid those potential hits. Didn't angle it in enough, I believe. And that contributed to his miss. Great parry once again. Small punish with the jabs. Dive kick, but nothing off of it. Oh, and that first hit only of up tilt. That move legitimately feels like it doesn't work. Yeah, sends you at some weird angles. Not nearly as consistent as it was in Smash 4. In use of the flood to push Captain Zack away. Captain oh. Zack still got all those resources. Excellent use of the wall cling and the wall jump right there for the up smash, finding its mark. Prodigy still alive here. Oh, tries to attack the still invincible Captain Zack though after the invincible forward smash. He's respawn. It's caught with the leg drop. Potentially the last breath of air for Prodigy here. He might have something to say about it though. No, just an up throw to downer, no extension. Oh, he had a punish available to him with a special landing lag from Bayonetta, but no, not ready for it. Yeah, respecting that landing a little bit too much. The fourth throw, not enough just yet. And we haven't seen a single witch time from Captain Zack, by the way. Now would be as good a time as any to throw it out just to get the KO for the final stock. I feel like with the way that he's kind of controlling uh, the momentum at the moment, he probably doesn't feel it necessary for him to go for the witch time. That said, though, the ladder's coming out from Prodigy! Is that it? No! no good DI coming off. out from Captain Zack, still alive! A good up smash, and now this is very, very scary for Zack. Oh, that flood. So scary. He holds it, and there we go. Guns drawn, guns fired. That's going to be the end.